Good morning everyone. It is Saturday morning and it's uh, just a little bit past 11. Um, well, got a lot of stuff uh, going on this morning and um, I just had to uh, do a, a little pour because that was uh, sort of on my mind from uh, last night. I told you guys I would be doing a, um, uh, a small one with a lot of white on the uh, on the canvas. So I thought I'd get one of these. It's a 10 by 10 centimeters. And um, <coughs> before I start, I want to thank, of course, all the sponsors of uh, July 2017. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys, no matter what the amount of money is. It's, you know, it just helps. It's sort of like Patreon, you know, even if... Um, you know, it's only a, a dollar. Um, I'm grateful for every single dollar that comes in so I can buy more stuff and uh, buy more paints and mediums and try out different things. And it's just amazing. It really is. So um, thank you all for the sponsorship. Now, um, what I'd like to do is um, tell you guys about the website. This is the website. Um, you can't order anything yet, so don't get all excited, but um, because you guys really like to follow what I do This is the uh, website. I'm uh, making it's uh, of course www.blazingcolors.eu for uh, Europe So um, that's the the website and if you go there, you'll already see uh, me working on it and it's going to be changing like every single hour. It'll be different, I guess. <laughs> but um, I'm working on it. It's a lot of work to uh, set up a website like that. But we had a couple of quotes. Uh, someone quoted us 10,000 euros for a website. That is ridiculous. It's crazy. And I would never do that. Not if my life depended on it. It's, it's totally ridiculous. So I'm not going to be paying $10,000 for someone to build a website. So I'll, <coughs> I'll just do that <coughs> all by myself and we'll, uh, we'll see how far it goes. And uh, anyone that has something to say about it, please do. Um, but put it in the comments on YouTube because I'm not really um, using the, the web mail uh, connected to the website yet. You know, it, it's still in the, um, in the building phase. So... I know you guys want to follow me, what I do, so I thought that would be nice that you could go there and watch me build it. So um, it's online. Only uh, all the uh, products that I'm putting up will have uh, um, like zero in it, so you can't order yet. And then the second we get our order from Vallejo, we will be updating all the uh, amounts that we have. The inventory, I should say. So then, um, then you can order. And I have to figure out the shipping thing. Um, we're going to be... Monday, we're going to check with the with the accountant to see what we can do about the shipping. Oh, we've got so much stuff going on. So, let's get to pouring. That sounds a little bit better. Let's see if I can get you guys in close just a little bit. Oh, don't go there. There you are. Okay. So what I said, well, and I'm doing this in small because I'm not sure how this is going to work because I've never done that before. But what I have here is Winsor & Newton. This is the titanium white. I, uh, this time I put about, mm, I think, 20 to 25% of the Vallejo pouring medium and added a little bit more water to get the right consistency. And you can't see it, I know, from up there. Um... Let me give you one shot from the side. Let's see if we can do that. If I can hold it and show you how thick it is. This is how thick it is. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> I'm spilling it because I, you just can't see what you're doing. So that's how thick it is. But as you can see, it, it comes off there with a continuous stream and that's that's the thing you want to want to watch there should be no dripping there should be no clumping it should just run off there like honey honey from a from a spoon so i hope that makes it a little bit more um better to understand the consistency when i hold up the the little stick like this you can see the build up on the stick 
and eventually when all the uh, when it all runs off there's still build up on the stick so let me see right now there's nothing dripping off but you can still see build up see that and now when I hold it like that it drips off so that's uh, the consistency you, you are uh, looking for now what I was gonna do is let me get a little pellet knife I got two. Oh, and I have my the drippings from yesterday. I have them drying. Let me show you. I hope it doesn't stick together. Look at that. Can you see that? It's still wet. I can feel it, and you can see it um, because it's shiny. But it looks like I'm going to be getting this whole thing. I'm going to be able to peel it off. So at least I'll get some good bits out of that. Um, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to put white on the canvas, spread it out a little bit, like that. Making it totally covered in white, but not too thick, just like that. Then I had paints left over from yesterday. And I was going to put those in here. I don't have any stirring sticks. Oh yes I do, here I are. So putting in a little bit of green, putting in a little bit of turquoise. And putting in some yellow. And I want some of that really beautiful Sienna. Sienna. That's about it. Then I will give it a little swirl, just like that. And then I was going to do a pour on it, like this because I what I really wanted to do is have a little bit of that negative space on there just to see how it's going to work and what I've seen some other people do and maybe that's something fun for you guys to do see this is a, um, a, a, a beautiful little swirl and I see some sort of uh, cells forming here. Let me tor torch a little bit just to see if something's going to happen. Yep, it is. Wow. And this is paint from yesterday. No more than that. That's it. See, when you have negative space, you don't have to have this totally covered in lots and lots and lots of cells because this is more than enough. But some people like doing this. They pull it like that. So it has some sort of a, I don't know, some sort of an organic thing going on. And you just go with your, with your flow in your painting and you just pull it out like that. Now, I like it just like it is, so I don't want anything else uh, on this uh, canvas, but what I would like is to have the sides totally white. Well, at least as white as I can get them. So that's why I'm using my little brush, putting some more on here. There we go. And it's coming over the side already. And I know how much people um, really like the, uh, like the negative space. So that's what I'm going for. Now I need some more on this side. Oops, for the corner. Some here. 
that's it. No more than that. That's more than enough. Okay, now I'm putting it back because I don't want it to slip off. And I'll show you a close-up. Let me get something for my hands. There's my little clocky thing. Uh-oh, clocky thing is gone. Don't know. Oh, of course I got it. It's straight in front of me, just in front of my face. Okie dokie, let's get you guys down. And there we have it. See those little swirly things, how cute they are? How, and how well they work? I'll show you how you do one, just like that. Just pull it. And then it just gives that beautiful little swirly thing. But you have to clean your stick every time you put it in, you clean your stick. And you could have a lot of fun with that. Here we go, that's it. Going down the side, going down that side, going down here. So, and you could make like a whole series of these and just put them all uh, up on the wall together and they would look totally awesome. And look at those cells. You have the, a few colors and I really like multiple colored cells. They look pretty. And of course I did this pretty quick so you know, you could even place those colors better than I did, and uh, even a little smaller. And I might just do a 20 by 20 in a bit, because this has uh, a lot of possibilities. You could even do a double pour, you could do that. So you could go uh, all the way with this uh, technique. So let me get you in focus a little more better. There you go. So I find it pretty interesting. Just putting it out, gotta watch out, putting it back here. <clears throat> there you go. So, um, uh, a couple of people asked me uh, to um, uh, make a set together with the uh, fluid acrylics. And I want to explain once more that when you're buying the fluid acrylics, the Vallejo fluids, they are artist quality paints, so they are highly pigmented. So what you can do, um, you don't don't buy the pouring medium for those paints because they are already thin. And if you add the thin pouring medium, uh, the whole the whole consistency will be way too thin to pour on a canvas. So the pouring medium, the Vallejo pouring medium, is for the um, the studio acrylics. The thicker, thicker kind like Winsor & Newton, the Amsterdam Acrylics, uh, the Liquitex Basics, all those kinds. That's what the pouring medium's for. Because like I said, this white that I made, this was only like 20%, 25% of the pouring medium. So that's what the pouring medium is for. If you want to do the, uh, the other ones, um, I can't show you because I already sent them away because... Uh, Let's see, which one did I do? Uh, this one. See, this one was a, um, let me zoom out now. This one was the uh, fluid acrylics. And all you have to do is add Floetrol. So it was one part paint and four parts Floetrol. And that's what you get. And because this is so highly, highly pigmented, that's why you can't see anything. You know, this thing is dry and it has not lost vibrancy because you can go back to the video. You can go and look if I'm, I'm I am not exaggerating or building this paint up. This paint is highly, highly pigmented. And that's why you can see it, because this was one part paint, four parts Floetrol, and you get these amazing, brilliant, brilliant colors. So. That's how you can see how pigmented it, uh, it is. And if you can look over it, it's pretty shiny too. So it, it doesn't um, dry matte. It dries a, very shiny. And I would, um, I would say, you know, just one layer of varnish and this, this is ready to go. Um, it's easy paint, it's easy to handle, it's easy to mix. And I think uh, a lot of people are going to have a lot of fun with these paints. 
I'm I'm positive. Okie dokie, one more uh, look at my beautiful little uh, 10 by 10 painting. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I love it. So um, it, it's really a good quality. It's the, the frame is as thick as the other ones are, but they just made it very, very small and there's no little pegs in there, uh, you know, to stretch the canvas because you don't need it if it's that small. But I love these little canvases. Um, I'm going to uh, put this one up on YouTube, this video, so you guys have something uh, to watch when you wake up and drink your coffee and go all zen. And uh, I'll be back later with another video. And this time I'm going to try the same uh, effect, other, different colors, but on a bigger canvas, because I really like this. I might even go really big. Yeah, that's been a long while ago, hasn't it, that I've done um, a, a, a 30, 40, something like that. Or 30-30, yeah, I could do a 30-30 and do a lot of those squishy things with the, with the stick. I really like that stuff. I really like doing this. Look at that. It makes it, it makes it I don't know, fun and it makes, it gives you something to uh, look at. Like you're thinking, oh, what's that doing there? So I'm going to do that this, uh, this afternoon. So thank you all for watching, and sponsors, I want to thank you all for sponsoring me and uh, making my channel such, such a huge success. And uh, I'll, I'll see you all back in the next video, which will be in a couple of hours. And in the meantime, you can go on and look at my website. That's going to be funny. So, okay, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.